Hey folks, I'm Sam Luce. Thanks so much for checking the video out. I want to show you a technique for getting a nice, bright, upfront vocal, but without any of the essiness, any of the T's, and any of that sibilance that comes through when we're trying to get that bright vocal. Now, typically we would use a de for this technique, but that has its own kind of downsides and it can leave you sounding a little bit lispy. It's, it can kind of be detrimental to the vocal. Using this technique is using a compressor and an exciter before it in a slightly unique way when we can really uh, make the most of that bright vocal whilst taming that top end with a compressor. Let's just jump straight in. So the vocal in question is this. Let's take a listen to it as it stands. Arrested. I had the homework from the rucksacks of the wealthy kids. Okay, so it's got a bit of a distortion effect on it, and that's kind of giving that that essiness uh, a bit too much. I want to retain the brightness of the rest of the vocal, and in fact, I want to give it a bit more brightness, but I'm hesitant to do it because those S's are just getting too much. If I DS, then it's just not going to work in this scenario. It's going to make it sound a bit lispy. We could use a de but I think this way is going to get us a far better result. Let's check it out. So what I'm going to do here then is First off, load up Fresh Air from Slate Digital. Now you can use any kind of high-end exciter. This is a free one and it sounds kind of cool, so I'm just going to slap it on. And then after this in the chain, uh, I've got this vocal going to its own bus, so a vocal DS bus. So it's got all its normal processing going on and then it's going to this bus. After this, I'm going to put a compressor. But I'm not just going to have any any normal kind of compressor. I'm going to use the sidechain function here. Now, if you're not familiar with all the different sidechain functions of a compressor, um, particularly this Logic compressor, then there's a video down in the description where I go through all of them in great detail. But here we're going to take a look at the high pass. So let's bring up our sidechain and we're going to go to the high pass section. So what this is going to do is the detector circuit in the compressor is just going to be listening to the top end. So it's only really going to listen to frequencies above what we set. And we set them using this dial here. So let's start off with somewhere around card 2K. Um, and this means that it's not only going to compress the top end, but it's only going to compress when it hears the top end. So it's still going to compress everything else, but it's only when it's hearing that high frequency content. So if there's anything that breaches the threshold um, that doesn't have high frequencies in it, then it's not as concerned about that. It's just when the high frequencies hit. And by having the harmonic excited before it, the fresh air, we're boosting the high frequencies into this compressor. So we're giving it more high frequencies. So what this is doing is it's allowing us to get a really bright vocal. It's allowing us to push those high frequencies for the whole vocal, but just in those SE sections, it's going to compress it and it's going to leave us with a really bright vocal with all that sheen and brilliance that we want, but it's going to retain that smoothness. So let's just dial in these controls and see what we can get. So as it stands, it's not going to be compressing too much. Let's just press the listen button. Arrested. This is just the high frequencies. Do you hear that nonsense there? Rook sucks. That SSS is really, really harsh. So what we're going to do then is go to fresh air and just put some of this top and mid air into it. Not too much. And then take off listen and just go on. And we're just going to see the needle move when those high frequencies come through. Erased it. And I had the homework from the rucksacks of the wealthy kids. Okay, so we've got that nice bright vocal, but it's still a little bit distorted on that, on the S sounds. So let's bring down the attack a little bit, just so we can really clamp down on those S's. Erased. Smoother. And I had the homework from the rucksacks of the wealthy kids. Let's bring the threshold Erased. down a bit more. And I had the homework from the rucksacks of the wealthy. Okay, so we're bringing them down even more. So that threshold, as you bring that down, it's affecting more of the signal, but crucially, it's going to be affecting those high frequencies more. So you can think of that threshold as kind of a high frequency up, high frequency down section. The rest of the vocal is going to remain bright. It's going to remain uh, nice, uh, and it's got, got that clarity to it that we're not going to have otherwise. But we can just retain that S as much as we want and bring it down a little bit if we need to. So let's listen to it without and then listen to it afterwards and we'll hear that we're getting a nice bright vocal but those S's are nothing detrimental there. It's not getting too distorted, not getting too S-y. 
And I had the homework from the rucksacks of the wealthy kids Erased it And I had the homework from the rucksacks of the wealthy kids so we're retaining a bit of that clarity, we're retaining that high end on everything other than those S's. It's being fed into those S's, but then that's being clamped down on by the compressor that's only listening to those high frequencies. So we're adding a load of high end onto the signal, and then we're telling the compressor to just listen to the high end, and when it becomes a problem, you can take it out. This is essentially how a de-esser works. It's just a compressor for a certain frequency. It boosts that frequency into the compressor and then brings it down, so it's just affecting the, the top end or a mid-range frequency or whatever it is. So it's exactly how a de-esser is working, but we're just doing it manually, and it means we've got some more control over what we're doing. It means we can add some more brightness to the vocal without getting all that s -y nonsense, and it helps you get a really really brilliant vocal something with nice high end sheen but without any of the issues normally that come along with that top end thanks so much for watching i hope that's been useful for you give this a try and let me know down in the comments if this works for you and if you find another way of doing this i'd love to hear from you i'll see you again soon take care